Hey guys, hope everybody's season went well. We're just going to do a little update for our subscribers and everybody who's been wanting to follow us. Um, we've got some exciting news. We want to go over our deer season and how that went. And then, like I said, some really exciting news for us have, has come up and we want to just share that with you. So first of all, our deer season was incredibly slow. Yeah. Um, we didn't get any kills on video and the deer season is completely wrapped up now. But the main reason we think is because uh, the warm temperatures during November this year had the rut just all screwed up. Yep. And I think most of the activity was at night. We didn't even see any shooters to get um, footage of the whole deer season. So we got a couple nice trail camera pictures, or I did here in Iowa, but I never saw them while hunting. So didn't get any big bucks. I did have one miss on a doe one of the first times I went out hunting and uh, there had been 12 deer in this bean field that I've been hunting and uh, I've been ranging them all night so for whatever reason I decided not to range the doe right before I shot her. I think she was around 23 yards and I used my 30 yard pin just shot right over her back and she ended up running off and all the deer ran off so and uh, we could have shot multiple does yeah, uh, throughout could. the season, but during the rut we didn't want to screw any of the buck hunting up, and um, so we just decided to pass. When we were actually sh looking for does in the late season, we didn't, didn't see, see any does. does. <laughs> so it, it was, was a cycle. It was definitely a cycle. It was a hard <clears> season. Yeah, but we had our. It was like a three and a half year old deer. He was a nice up and coming deer, and actually the neighbor shot him. So. At this point, we don't know exactly what's on our property in Missouri, so we're just going to have to start the year off fresh and go from there. We're going to do a lot of improvements to our property to make it more desirable for both bucks and uh, doe family groups, but we'll cover that later. And uh, so we'll share our exciting news with you now. So we have teamed up with Bible Belt Outdoors. Uh, it's a call company. We're going to be working to make a DVD and it's going to be on YouTube. Um, actually, we have sponsors as well. So our sponsors are Last Chance Archery and Athens Bows. Um, this is really exciting for us. Um, we already have some of the Last Chance equipment. So we have the bow press so we can do reviews and everything. And the bows, we've heard nothing but good things about Athens Bows. So we're going to go in and shoot them. Yeah, so we haven't been able to take any shots with them yet because they're not local for us, but we think we're going to get new bows because we've heard nothing but good good things about them. So we're going to go shoot those, and uh, that's pretty much it. But all of our a lot of our videos are going to be up on Bible Belt Outdoors. Any of the hunting videos will for sure be on right. Bible Belt Outdoors. And YouTube also, channel. Yeah, and eventually uh, we're going to make a web show. But uh, we should still be getting future videos up on this channel, whether it be workout for uh, elk hunting or reviews that they don't want or um, just shooting videos, anything that they don't want to air or if it's too long for them. Uh, it'll still be here. It'll still be here. So, so you guys can still see everything mm -hmm. that we put up. So definitely go subscribe to Bible Bell Outdoors uh, YouTube channel. We're going to link that in the description box. Yep. And um, other than that, the, the only other news we have is I'm getting shoulder surgery tomorrow. So I will not be able to shoot for at least three months. And uh, it's unfortunate I've had the same thing on this one. But through wrestling, I have to do this one now too. And um, it's going to be quite a long recovery, but I'll be back shooting faster than we know it so I'm excited and we can post videos on that for because there's a lot of people out there who have surgery yeah and hunters know. that I mean you can give advice since you've already done it before mm -hmm. so we can have videos on that on how what you do so you can get back into shooting your bow faster because like you said you're probably gonna have to get a, a lighter drawing bow because it's your mm -hmm. your draw shoulder yeah last time I was fortunate enough to have it on my post arm <clears throat> And so the recovery for that one, 
was like two months until I could shoot again. And I ended up shooting a bull that September. I had the surgery June 13th, so so that recovery went well. But this one is the drawing arm, so it's you have to do a lot more with it. And uh, it'll be interesting to see how fast I can shoot again, but I'm definitely not gonna push it right. so I can recover all the way. So be sure to, you know, check out BioBelt Outdoors, all the, you know, calls on their site and everything, and be sure to subscribe to their YouTube channel. We've got a bunch of videos that are gonna be coming up here soon. I know it's the winter, the winter months here in the forward. Midwest. Everybody's, it's cold out. Nobody wants to go out and do mm -hmm. stuff. So, I mean, once turkey season hits, there's gonna be a lot of good videos out, I feel like. Yep, and even up until then, we have a lot of stuff. Yep. Planned, so just so. stay tuned. Thanks for watching, guys.